save opportunity. Oh! I don't like this area, it's too narrow. It could sneak up on me at any time. Can you just leave without fighting it? I'm gonna try. Huh. Nope, it's still coming. Oh. Which one is that? That's... Help me guy? Oh, it's just a monk. He's an easy kill too, I think that's like the easiest one. Yeah, he doesn't do anything. He, he moves forward very slowly. He doesn't juke and jive. Easiest one to defeat. My favorite one to fight. He just wants help. And uh, I hope he got it in the form of having his picture taken. I hope that's what I was doing for him. Yeah, I figured I wouldn't be able to get away since the, the rooms aren't like instance based. Like a, like a Resident Evil game, for example. Yeah. I went... Did I already check in here? I don't know. Probably not. It's locked now. <gasps> okay, that one... That one... Oh, it's... Oh, it's the blind lady! Shit, I moved Don't a little move. bit. I moved a little bit by accident because I didn't realize. Now I've got to look for she's it. She's behind you. Apparently, on the other side of this wall, that's not great. There's no wonder out. There's no one here. That's dumbass. <laughs> Nice. So she won't know where I am because I got that orange shot, right? That's the theory. Ooh. Well. Don't move. I'm not moving. Uh, I, oh, wait. Are you okay, sure I should go. maybe move? Yeah, maybe you should move. Because I feel like if it grabs me once, it's going to remember where I was. <laughs> Because it was just physically touching me. Apparently, when you get the orange shot, it doesn't alert you to alert her to your location. Right, she just got lucky there, I guess. Yeah, she. I guess it just sp spawned her in the place that I happen to be standing. Uh, should I go upstairs? Yeah, I think there's just a couple doors that I couldn't access upstairs. Perhaps there. Uh, are... the you the piece you got is for the rubble room. Oh, Remember yeah. there was that thing? Yeah, you're right. I'll check these anyway while I'm here. Sure. Oh, before it was nailed shut, now it's locked from the other side. Make up your damn mind. Oh, so now you're gonna come out of that crawl space. I guess the nails are just gone. I hear that scratchy noise. This is still very boarded up. I wonder how many more rooms there are in this game, if we've seen most of them. It's very scratchy right here. There must be something to see. Ah, uh, yeah, it's right here. Audio cues. Monk out of dark. <laughs> His eyes. His eyes were pretty good. Wasn't the one like monk into dark? Wasn't that a... <laughs> monk? In, yeah, something. Yeah, this this is the monk out of dark or something. Yeah, I think it was like monk into dark, and that's monk out of dark. We've completed the monk arc. Got in, we got in it out of dark. Here. Yeah, at will. Alright, back to the rubble rousing room. Probably save it there. What uh do you know what it is that I have to do there? Should I do the thing and then save it or can I just save it? Should I save uh, it? Uh it's a puzzle to do in the rubble room. Does the guide say it's going to spawn a nasty, though? Because I'll do that now before we stop this session, or I'll just save it and do it next time if uh, there's going to be a thing that'll happen. No, I don't think so. All right. It's, it's got to be this door, right? Yeah. 
the same kind of puzzle as before. Okay, I hope it's just as easy. It it is not as easy. Let's see here. Four more moves. It was the slightest increment more complicated than the last one. <laughs> yeah, it's one more move. Well, that seems like a good place to stop for now. <laughs> sure. I'm going to go save it. It's getting late. And uh, I'm going to need a little bit of time to de-stress before I go to sleep. <laughs> so I'm going to take some de-stress time before that happens. You can't just, like, play a stressful game then go straight to bed that's got to be like eh. that's got to be like a asking for nightmares or just a bad sleep in general yeah it doesn't sound very easy oh <sighs> ready to get spooky um yeah, i'm ready to get spooky i'm ready for session three i'm not really ready to be completely honest <laughs> this game has been nothing but frustrating and annoying for me occasionally spooky but i'm committed I uh, kind of forgot what we were doing last time. You just uh, just threw this door. Oh right, we opened this door, and then I yeah, turned the back and saved. Yeah, the last thing we did. It. Perfect. Easy to get right back into the swing of things. Can't comment on that candle. Boy, it's a little long hallway in this uh, house. Yeah, your trick really worked, Rob. Maybe you weren't fast. I was plenty fast. Got Another it. puzzle? I gotta aim. Aiming's too important. Something the shows fuck? in the photo. It looks like a little shrine at the end of a bridge. That makes me think of that one outdoor area with the fireflies, but that bridge was yeah. broken. Yeah, maybe that still could be it, though. Yeah, maybe the bridge is just fixed now. Or maybe it's still broken, but at the end of the bridge, it's got that thing. There is a small piece of paper on the floor. It looks like a piece of a notebook. Oh, it's from my boy. The mansion has started to change. As far as I can figure out, the ghosts are trying to pull me back into the past. The spirits are using their powers, or their power to make parts of the mansion revert to the way they were in the past. The ghosts of that era are beginning to stir. Just what exactly happened to this mansion anyway? And just what do the ghosts want me to do about it? I don't know what you want me to do about it. Alright, it's gonna be another one of those slidey puzzles. Presumably the pieces where I assumed it would be. Where are you going to get it is the question. I'm pretty sure it's that firefly area. Oh, yeah. That's not too far from here. Some jingle jangling noises I don't remember hearing before. Oh, I'm already okay. I don't remember this room being so noisy. Or maybe I turned up my volume. I think I turned up my volume last time I was playing. I don't remember it was jangling in there either. I'm actually still. I think it might have been. I think it's just. I think it's just part of the ambiance now. Oh yeah. So that was. No, it was on the. It was on the side of it. Oh, I see a sparkly, I think. Yeah. No, not there, goober. Something underneath the floor of the shrine. It's another spirit stone. Probably gonna reach the end of the game before I use any of them, huh? What's your upgrade situation like? Can you upgrade anything else? Uh, let me take oh, one. shit, look at all those points. That's quite a bit of points. Uh, I can put up any of my basic performance you sp i don't know man speed Should speed I is king speed 
Speed and value. I don't know. Let's uh let's let's consider these bonus functions. Push ghosts back, slows them down, makes them more visible, paralyze, search. Ugh. I don't know. And the the thing about it is it's risky too. Like what if what if it like sounds like it's pretty good and then it ends up being garbage and they're all so expensive too that it's a big risk. Oh. It's, it, it seems like none of them are really all that necessary. Maybe C or Paralyze are the two that I would I would consider if I was in control. Yeah. Because there, there was that time when I kept taking a picture just as they were flickering out. And I think yeah. uh, an ability like that would have prevented that a mishap. But then there's, there's no telling how it works. What if you need to use that ability when they're not flickering? To even yeah. get it to, <laughs> and what if, and what if that costs, and then I waste it? Ugh. It does cost. You only have twelve spirit stones. I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip speed again. And I think with it being so high, I think it is. I think we should put up the values, especially since I have like two already preloaded with this better film. Yeah. That yeah. We... I... It might be rotting till the end of the game unless there's even more powerful fill. I have quite a bit of it. I wonder if there is another uh, level of power film. Who knows? So I think that it is over here. Oh, yeah, the bridge is just fixed now. Let me just go right across. Something on the ground and it's sacred water. So, oh no, that's a firefly in the foreground. Because I imagine that this bridge was not broken in the past, and now we've been pulled into it. A stone emitting a oh, purple light shit. is stuck in the top of the stone pot. The first side has a plug. No, I'm back. I mean, unless unless the bridge was built broken, there must have been a point at which it was not. Yeah, we're definitely in the past. Uh, I'm gonna go through the door first. And then I'm gonna fucking take off. Nope, take off. Oh, it's gone. Oh, wow. I wonder if it was a photo op or an enemy. It must have been an enemy, right? No, because enemies follow you through doors. <clears throat> but, mm. ah! Observatory man. <laughs> Maybe that's what it was. Maybe that was just giving me a bit of a hint. Putting me on edge to be prepared for observatory man. Oh, gosh! Whoa! <laughs> well, not a lot I could have done about that one. When you're when you're on stairs, the gameplay changes. <laughs> you, you lose all control. It was a little slow to get to the scary. That did give me a bit of a fright, though. You took a little too long. Well, well, that's spooky. It's got a health meter. Oh, I see a bit of shimmering. I think that might just be a curtain. Oh, no. There's a shimmering here, and the thing's yeah. on, and there's a health be mar meter. Like, what does this mean? This is a glitch? Is it bugged out? over here now. Ah! Oh, look at that speed. Whoa! Wow. That was, uh, that was both a very confusing and a very easy encounter. 
<laughs> really threw me for a loop by getting st by getting stuck in the window for a while. It's that fucking crooky neck though, and you said those ones just occur randomly now? Yep. Yeah, crooked neck. Uh, actually, yeah, I think that is the only one that I remember seeing that's random now. Oh no, there's the the monk. Oh, is the monk also random? Yeah, I think so. I thought it was. Uh, I thought I thought every single one of them was like scripted and set, no. or, or like <coughs> or like vaguely scripted, like it will happen around this amount of time, kind of thing. There are a bunch that are, but. You know that actually kind of makes sense because I have this. I have a vague memory of uh, using a guide to beat this game before a hundred years ago, when I uh, played it with our mutual friend Thomas. And I remember the guide said like, "Oh, a crooky neck one is going to show up around now," and like sometimes it'd be a little earlier, sometimes a little bit later than the guide said. So I think uh, it might be like somewhat scripted, but also somewhat random. I also remember, like, I could have sworn that I remember more cutscenes, like, before Ghost, because that blind lady, I'm pretty sure she had an introduction cutscene. Same with the, the single head one. I, like, <clears throat> remember the cutscene vividly. Alright, it's time to puzzle. did it nice did it on my first try no problem no problem there weren't two other attempts that I cut out I'm just that good it's, it's not for you for you what are you up to down there I have no memory of this area, so... Yeah, I'm at a complete loss. I think this is, uh... past where, uh... I have any memory of this game. I might not have seen this before. What is your memory of this game? Did you play it, or did you just, like, watch a playthrough? I watched somebody play it. Okay. I watched, uh... I don't know who was, who was controlling it. It might have been you. At Tim's. No, I've only ever... I think I've only ever played this once. Oh no, I played hmm. I played it twice. I played like half of it uh, by myself. Oh no, I played half of it with a friend from school, and then I played the whole thing with Thomas. It was, the... it, was it was probably Chris or Tim that was piloting it when uh, when we hang were hanging out and playing it. Maybe it really took me a while to find this ladder. This place has given me the heebie-jeebies. It's kind of hard to tell what anything's supposed to be here. It's just a lot of rock. It's just a big <laughs> old cave. The music's very tense and that grumbling noise, I don't know what it is. Oh shit, I don't want to step inside of that. That seems like it's got a lot of bad mojo going for it. I'm gonna go around, thank you very much. This looks like something. There's a place for hanging something. I wonder if it's a device for opening this gate? Found some old research documents among the wood. The ritual masks and their meaning. In the Himuro rituals, masks play a very important role. One of them is called the blinding mask, which is used in the demon tag ritual. Two stakes pierce through the eyes of the blinding mask. It is used in the demon tag ritual as a blindfold. The legend goes, while the demon is blindfolded, enter the rope altar and perform the ritual. This might mean that the blinding mask is a key to the rope altar. 
Do you need the mask? I suppose so. Do you have the mask? I don't have shit. And I've got some items, some tapes, and some film. Mm -hmm. I've got no mask. Oh, when are you gonna get the mask? Horn like rocks have been tied with sacred ropes. It looks like an altar. Looks like bad fucking juju to me. I don't know where I was expected to get a mask. It's been a long while since I've been to like the front of the house. Maybe a bit more exploration is uh, necessary. Run over the huge doors in the east to activate a ghost appearance. Oh yeah, I guess I didn't even bother interacting with the door. Only the mechanism. Oh, you didn't interact with the door? I interacted with the mechanism next to it, and it's like, this you must be a mechanism to open damn the door. Damn fool. And I was like, no, well, okay. Gotta... What was the point in interacting with the door? I looked at the mechanism, and it's like, no go. So I'm like, you gotta okay. look at everything. I don't know. You gotta look at everything. I use logic to skip looking at things. <laughs> so when she's like climbing ladders and stuff like this, I like there's a light source in front of her, but like where's the flashlight? Because it's always in her hands, but her hands yeah. are busy when she's climbing the ladder. She like obviously in her belly button. She just crams it right in her navel. Yeah. Or like maybe like holds it in the cleavage. A huge door is in the way. It doesn't seem to open. Maybe it's locked. Man before door. The ritual's what? Okay, now I can take a photo of this. All right, I did not look at the door. That's <laughs> seventy-five percent on me. A mask with stakes in it appears on the pillar. Yeah, see, I had gathered that, so I just went straight to looking for the <laughs> looking for it. We had to go with all this razzmatazz to tell me something I already knew. Get out of here with that. Oh, it's blind lady. I can't move. behind you for sure. There's no, one here. There's no one here. Nice. Behind. Nice. Two shot kill. Look at this fucking excellent performance on my part. How rare. I'm glad this is being captured and recorded. <laughs> <laughs> Only the red candles in the photo are lit. I don't usually do well at literally anything I do, but this session, I'm feeling pretty good about this session so far. There's a tiny matchbox where the ghost was. Matches. It's old, but the matches inside look usable. Okay, so I need to go to a place with many candles and only light the red ones. And that'll presumably give me the blinding mask. That would uh, be that one room before the rubble room save, right? The one that we thought was a bunch of dolls, but yeah. was actually candles. Yeah, that's the room, I think. That seems a boot, right? I think that's the only place I've seen rows of candles like that. Yeah, I didn't really take note of their color or arrangement. But uh, I can't really think of anything else that would match that description. Girl pointing. I didn't see what she was pointing at. Okay. Ah, yes, I needed to be reminded. Thank you. Put the photo in my file. There's gonna be another puzzle. Looks like it. 
it must be a pretty simple one. Uh, it's gonna be one of those ones where you light one oh. and then the two beside it go out. Yeah. Those are easy. You can just kind of mash through those puzzles. <laughs> yep. And maybe it should just reset. There must be a way to get there from the opening stage pretty quickly. Don't know, I got this. I got this. What? Just you wait. Just you wait. Waiting. Okay, yeah, I'll reset. I'm, I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna keep you waiting a while, I think. <laughs> okay, so I, I can't unlight them. What if I told you you can complete the puzzle in four steps? Uh, that helps a little bit. I'm just back to where I started now. Yeah, yeah, you reset the puzzle. <laughs> Manual <laughs> reset. reset it. Uh, okay, <laughs> it can be done in four moves. Yeah. I see it. Well, I see it because I know the solution from looking at the guide. I got them all lit. That's something. That's nothing. Now you're locked. I just need to. I just need to take the white candles and throw them out the window. <laughs> Blow them out. I did it. I did it. Yay! Nice. You actually did a different solution than the uh, the guide. Oh yeah, I'm breaking new ground. Take nice notes. Work. I'm I'm the new best at this game. No, nobody can say you looked at a guide for that puzzle. <laughs> yeah, because that solution that, is not. That, that guide is. Uh, that, that does not say that order. <laughs> there is an old scroll inside the box. It's a painting of Demon Tag. I've seen this before somewhere. <gasps> oh fuck! I moved a little bit. There's no one here. Oh, yeah. Oh, damn. Point blank. Oh, there's a sparkly at the end of the hall. Nope. It's this direction. Whoop. Oh, it's right on me. Yeah, this... She's always just... She teleports behind you every time. <laughs> oh, it's a gravel, isn't it? I should Funny be pressing... don't move. I think you're fine. I should be pressing triangle for the quick turnaround, but I'm not skilled enough yeah. to feel confident doing that. Could have done it right there after you just said it. No, nope. heat of the moment. It's too stressful. I can't think. There's no one here. It sucks that I'm up against a wall because behind me is just sometimes in places I cannot see. Okay. Actually, I can just finish her. I don't need to wait. Yeah. Health was already low enough. Unless well, she was visible. Yeah, good enough. Well, let's get that goodie. Some nice film. Nice. So, demon tag scroll. Would that be in the room I woke up in at the beginning of this chapter? Do you think? Yeah. Let's just save it anyways, so I don't have to do that puzzle again. And fight blinded three more times. Subscribe to TK Gaming for more of my stuff. Rob and I also co-host a movie and chatting podcast with our friend Chris called The Unpopped Colonel Show. Check that out on YouTube.